tough one this weekend. I think let's start with the injury update, how everybody's doing, you know, a couple games left before we really have tournament. Yeah, we, Max is uh, uh, going to be an uh, interesting one. I, I don't know when he's going to come back. It could be as soon as Thursday, and it could be he's not back the rest of the year. Um, obviously, we're, we're hoping sooner. He's He's – the toughest kid I've ever been around. So if there's a chance to play, he's going to play. Um, I don't know how well he's going to be able to move, but um, you know we're hoping that uh, we can get him back. And I don't think he's going to risk anything long term, which is the major thing. And then Brian looked um, he, he looked okay in his in his short stint. Um, he's going to have a much longer stint coming up. Um, I think it can be as soon as Thursday, but we got to get him through a few more things in practice to where he feels fully confident to go. But I'm hoping that comes, you know, sooner rather than later, uh, both for his sake and ours. Yeah. And then, Coach, when, when we look at the game, you know, a rival game, you're playing close to him right there. You guys are without your players. Um, what kind of what kind of was your thought process throughout that one? Yeah, I thought, you know, leaving it, part of me went, all right, we have no point guard at all. Carson's did an unbelievable job trying to play point guard. After him, the only other guard in our rotation was Riley, who's a 6'6 true freshman that's not a point guard by any means. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, 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 can you make, we, we went into the year with, with four point guards on our roster and we went into that game with zero. Um, that's, you know, the easiest solution to it and it's not just offense but defensively we're trying to chase around Dan and Marcus who are complete studs with no one that has foot speed besides Carson to even have a chance of doing it and um, you know it's it's really hard to separate that um, excuse from the result now the flip side of that we we rewatched it and I, I thought I thought we made a ton of mistakes defensive mistakes offensive mistakes um, I thought we played scared to lose instead of excited to win. Um, you know, it was a clo it was a three point game with, it, it, I think like two minutes to go or something. But if you would have like been on our bench, it felt like we were down thirty the whole time. Um, I thought the first half we had a chance to put it away. I thought we should have gone into halftime up fifteen to twenty. Um, honestly, a, you know, a couple calls really went against us in that stretch. Um, when we could have gone up 20 and gotten foul trouble. And that was the one thing we couldn't afford was foul trouble. So now we have a couple of those guys off the floor. And, you know, it ends up being five because we just collapsed at the end of the first half. You know, a lot of times everyone focuses on end of games, but I think that's where we really lost it was that stretch at the end of the first half. And then at the end, we, you know, defensively just weren't good enough. Um, we got to guard better with, with what we have going on with injuries because we're not going to be able to score at the clip we're used to. We've, we've been the best offense in the country the last 10 games. We still are. Um, you can't rely on being the best offense in the country when you have no point guard, and so our defense has to get better. I think Coach, if you look ahead to this week, Saginaw and Wayne State, um, kind of your thoughts on the matchups going in there? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Saginaw is a really hard place to play, and I think Wayne State um, all year has played a lot better than their record showing uh, they're, they're, they've played everyone tough, and they've lost a lot of close ones. And um, you know, both opponents are scary. I think for us right now, we got to get better. I mean, it is w that that team and how we played on on Saturday, we won't win another game. And, and uh, we we have to get better ourselves, um, well preparing for you know two really tough teams on the road and finding that balance right now. It, I mean, it feels like we're going into the first game of the season, not you know, one of the last games of the season. And um, it shows how important, you know, one or two guys can be is, um, you know, I, I feel sometimes like we're, they, we're like we're playing um, like football without a quarterback. And Carson might be a heck of a receiver and he did an okay job playing quarterback, but now he has no one to throw to because we took away the best receiver. So um, it, it's been challenging. It's been difficult. And honestly, if we don't have – some wholesale changes in, in just how hard we play and how tough we are. Um, we won't be able to get it done because we're not going to play beautiful basketball until you know at least we get one of those guys, if not both of them, back.